Hi, right, time for another math easy solution. Here we're going to uh, we'll do another tutorial on GIMP 2.0, uh, the Photoshop program which I like to use. And this time we'll do border around text and objects. So what I mean by that is, I'll show you how you can write stuff like this. Or, so like this is, let's go math I guess or something. Or, or like this and then you have like a border of uh, any color you want and whatnot. So uh, and also if you have an object just just like this and also how to draw a border of any color around it and and uh, whatnot I'll, I'll show you what I mean to make it a bit better um so I'll just open up GIMP okay so here's GIMP right here so uh, let's just open up just a new template just anything let's go new um just whatever whatever it is there okay now let's uh, I'll show you let's say if we're just to type something out here let's go type um let's see what should we type it's called math easy solution i guess we just type that out I, just, I don't know why this went there drag it out here and uh yeah okay so now let's just uh let's make this a bit bigger let's go to okay let's just uh yeah so it seems decent size so now let's say if we want a red border around so first uh, what we do here is actually click on this back this layer right here we'll just make it red and then switch this to the main one and then what you could do here is actually uh, click so you click on this layer so then you go to layer go to transparency and then you can go to a alpha to selection what this actually does is um, this makes this selects everything that inside this this layer if I go to here exit this if I go to this this layer which is transparency in the back uh, it makes everything that's not transparent it selects it everything so we got this part here so what you could do actually then you could just go to click edit and stroke selection and then what you could do here so this is the main one so so here's just a preset one you could change this is the, this is the border now we're gonna actually stroke it with this solid color we have the line style here. you could change it this is the preset stuff you could do uh, I, I just chose this line it's the basic one and you can see how it how the border is so have it standard here so if we go stroke selection yeah so basically yeah there it, it made a border around it this one's actually a bit too um, it, the, the, yeah the border isn't it's too thin so let's make it a bit bigger we go line with three pixels or whatnot Okay, so now we have a border around it. So what you could actually do here now, let's say if we want, we go back to edit, now you could go edit, you could fill with the uh, front ground or background colors, the background, yeah, it's, it's red or black. Let's just fill it with, I don't know, let's, yeah, this is the original fill, so we filled it there. Yeah, th the stroke actually, um, yeah, so if you fill, the stroke actually goes in between the lines. If I go undo, so this is what the stroke does. It's like just a stroke brush, and then it does that. But if you if you don't want if you want uh, just everything outside of it only the border, then yeah, then you could just do this fill with the so front. We have that one now. So what you could do, let's say if we wanted black and white uh, inside, so we can switch. Well, let's just add click this thing to get back to the white. Go to edit, fill with foreground color. So we got this now. We got red math easy. And also if you go to so let's just make it black. I just want to get the stroke selection. We'll get it black now. Yeah, it's black there. I'll just stroke it. You could do, try these other other stuff, but this is what I like. Pattern here. Uh, you could also do that one. But uh, in pattern, I'll show you. It's it just goes to this one. So if you click pattern, it strokes it based on this pattern. So you could change this pattern to whatever. If you go here, let's say if we want. This, if you click here, that pattern, so that's the original, and you go fill with pattern, and now it's going to be that. Well, let's just go back to this, and let's go to stroke selection, and then just stroke it with black. So, oh, whoops. Stroke selection again. A uh, solid color. So we stroke with black, so we have this, and if you want to fill, let's so fill with foreground, so now this one's a bit better. So well, yeah, basically, yeah, this is a cool way. This, this stuff, it, it didn't overwrite it, I think the, um, so you would have to undo it and do it again. Let's go, before we did the pattern stuff, here, we'll just, let's just remove all this stuff, okay? We'll go start from the beginning. 
I don't know why that everything gets changed. Go to stroke selection. Go go to stroke with. Let's see. We could fill. We'll fill it with white. Fill with with white, and then stroke. Stroke selection with black, and then we'll fill it with white again. Yeah, so this looks much better. So yeah, you could do this. Yeah, this is pretty cool here. What you could also do is, uh, let's say if you're just doing a regular line, let's just exit this, click on the background, and just go to here. We'll just draw a random line like this or whatnot. So if you want to border around this, you could just click on this magic tool. This is fuzzy or fuzzy select tool. It just it clicks if you go to the black one, it clicks everything that's black around it, and you could change how sensitive it it is and whatnot. Okay, so now then you could just do it again. Go to stroke selection. Oh, we could switch this one at least. Let's go make this make this red. Uh, bring this in here, which we clicked, and let's just stroke it. Yeah, so we have stuff like that. So th yeah, this is a pretty cool way to do it. And then you could, uh, and then again, go click edit. You could fill with whatever. Let's go background. So we have this, and then there's uh, other patterns of the border you could do in the stroke selection. When you go to stroke selection, yeah, then you could change how the pattern or the line style is. If you go to something like this, then you could change, modify these or whatnot. I'll just stick with the, the basic here. Well, this yeah, it does something like that, but I already have the border around it. But we'll just we'll just try that. Just go to edit line style that stroke. So you got something like that. This one looks messed up, but yeah, you could play around with it. Well, um, yeah. So just to uh, recap, just remember when you go to yeah, this one's important. You go to al uh, alpha to selection or add to selection. Yeah, th th this one's really good. You could also, when you have a transparent layer like this text one, you could select everything not transparent by that. Well, uh, that's all for today. Hopefully uh, you learned. And um, yeah, hope you learned Photoshop. I'll do some more later. But yeah, stay tuned for another math easy solution.